couch just finished up making a lanyard for something uh, knife or something and I had an idea uh, well I didn't have an idea I was just playing around with a lighter and a piece of paracord I just cut off the end of a lanyard or something and uh, I was playing with it and I was thinking that it looks you know a bit like a lure fishing lure you know, so I melted on a new tip, and I frayed the back, and I uh, lit the center here just to mush it together. And I thought, ah, it looks like a little lure, so started me thinking. Uh, next time I was playing around with it, I pulled out a fishing hook. You can see that there? You can see it? And uh, I fed a fishing hook through it first. Then I melted it tight, so it's actually kind of hard there. So it's just like a chunk of plastic there. Then it frays out at the back, just for uh, like a jigging hook. So this is my idea is to make a fishing lure from paracord. And at the time, this was a few months ago, I did a quick search on YouTube and didn't come across any uh, videos on it. Uh, now I did see a couple. Uh, finally showed up there on doing that so that's what I'm gonna attempt to do for you now just to show you how I came up with it I do not know if they work uh, I haven't been fishing in years I do plan on going this year um, and I'll let you know if that does work out originally uh, I was just using these little hooks that I got I don't know in the mail as a part of some trying to join some club or something fishing club or outdoorsman club uh, just little cheapo hooks, and I think they'll work all right. Uh, but I went to Walmart and purchased in the clearance section some jig heads, a jig head and a ball head, which to me are pretty pretty much like the same thing uh, for like a buck something a pack, uh, buck like twelve I think it was, and you get six in one pack and. 10 in the other pack of cheaper ones. So that's what I I got there. Cut off a small piece of paracord. Oh, you can see that there. It's a little jig head they call them, I guess. Basically I'm going to feed it down through the center and around up as high as I can there. Black might not be the best color for a lure, uh, but it should show off the white nice. Uh, so a different color paracord might be a good idea. Right here I'm just heating it up a little bit, trying to uh, basically it'll heat up and shrink down the paracord as I mat it in and kind of get, get harder as you go. See how it's wrapped right around there, melted in there, and melt it just down a little bit farther. Just like that. It's pretty warm. Okay. Just once you got it to that point, we're just going to stay on. It's not going anywhere. Those hooks have a little bit of a, a notch right there to hold things onto them. So that's helpful. Um, just pull this apart here a little bit. Let's pull the unravel, is what you want to do. Just unravel the strands there a bit. A little bit. And. Same with the black, black and white. There. And 
See what I'm getting at there anyway. There. You see that? Something like that. Just kind of push it up and around. Like I said, I haven't used these yet. And it has been a while since I've been, been fishing. But that reminds me a lot of the what I used to do. Talk to my buddy that's a fishes every year, fishes a lot. And he seems to think they'll work. So I'm going with it. There. That should be a good jig to swim through the water there and up and down and what have you. See how that works. There's a couple of them there. There's those two, that one, my original, and then the ones that I screwed up on here. Look at these. There, there. Yeah, these don't work out so well. These are rejects. They're reject files here. I'll cut the paracord off and see what I can make. See if I can save them yet. I'm sure I can. But when done right, it's going to look a bit more like a lure than, than these things do. Okay? Thanks for watching.